It's been over a year since Sparky the Volkswagen E-Up last featured on the Daniel Drives YouTube channel. Well, in this video we're finally going to sort that because it's looking very grubby, it's been neglected and I think it deserves a lot more attention. So in this video it's all about the E-Up and we're going to make it shine. I'm Daniel Lactaus and you are watching Daniel Drives. <laughs> I really don't know why it's been so long because obviously we got this car in April 2022 we got the war box fitted and it was all very exciting and then literally two weeks after we got the car we took it to Stanford Hall for the Volkswagen show and since then it's purely been my mum's daily driver and that's it it's had no love it's had no attention and to be honest I've barely even spoken about it on social media it's just been purely the family car so yeah in this video I think it needs some love it needs to be cleaned and um, I've been very lucky to have been sent some car cleaning products from a company called Power Max. Um, you may know them because they are a main sponsor for a uh, British Touring Car Championship team, uh, one that Jason Plato used to drive for actually uh, before he retired. So I've been sent two boxes, there's one, um, of Power Max car detailing products. And I'm going to confess, I have already tried them out, I'm not going to pretend I'm new to them. Um, I've tried them out in the Panda a few times and they are very, very, very good. Very impressive indeed. Um, but I thought, you know what? I should give them a go on the E-Up and make it look nice. And I should film it for you guys because obviously <laughs> you don't know what's happened with this car at all. I've had comments in the past on Panda videos and other random event videos I've done basically asking, do you guys still have the E-Up? Like we haven't heard anything about it. So basically during this video, we're gonna clean it. And we're also gonna talk a bit more about what it's been like and then the plan is, once it's nice and clean, I'm gonna get some temporary insurance cover in this car and I'm going to review it and actually drive it, which is quite insane to think about. Um, and I think my mum's gonna let me. That's, that's the main thing really that can stop me. Um, so yeah, over this next few weeks, I'm gonna try and bring some E-Up content to the channel because it's been way too long. So then let's move the uh, car detailing products aside. Um, which are very, very good indeed, I've already mentioned. Let's shut the boots and let's move this car into a position which makes it easier to clean. This is very weird filming on the driveway again. Um, it feels very 2021, um, back in the old days when I couldn't drive, um, replacing the cabin filter on my Panda. It's all very bizarre. Um, and to think on this driveway, or the old driveway, because we actually got it done um, and extended, we've had the Panda, we've had the Scenic, and now the E-Up. Um, so let's move it. So let's have a look at the products that I've been sent, shall we? So first of all, we've got some interior matte finish. Um, so this is basically for all your interior plastics um, and uh, it cleans and deepens interior plastics, basically. Simple as. I've used that and it smells nice and it almost bleeds the dirt from the dashboard. It's quite a, uh, quite a fun little thing to use. Um, bike wash and wax. Can't use this on the EOP, but Maybe in future, I can use this on one of my bicycles or something, or a motorbike or something like that. Uh, glass cleaner, which is also very good. I'm actually spoiling what's good um, by telling you <laughs> from the past experiences. Uh, ultra finishing polish, I haven't actually used that. Um, so it'd be interesting, maybe not on this car, but maybe a classic car with more dull paint to try that out. Um, Blizzard snow foam, um, I can imagine that's quite cool. Um, iron off fallout remover, so this is um, for, oh, it's a decontamination product. So I'm guessing for maybe like brake dust on wheels or something like that. Um, it actually says, yeah, Power Max Racing uh, or Power Max, um, which is the company that sent me the products. Um, it says, proud to support motorsport. We receive lots of feedback from people within motorsport to enable our development and keep us at the top of our game. 
with a nice BTCC logo there. Um, and uh, yeah, that's quite cool actually. Um, part of automotive brands. Um, yeah, that's cool. Maybe we can give that a go because the wheels on this car are filthy. Um, we've got ceramic ultra seal. A lot of these, I don't really know what they are because I'm quite simple-ish when it comes to car detailing and car cleaning, um, which I know can hurt some car detailers. I've got random microfiber cloth. Um, I've got some shampoo and ultra wax, which is sort of the main thing I use to get a car clean. Um, heavy duty pre-wash. So if you're being prepper and thorough about it, you should probably use that before you get started. Uh, quick detailer, if you're a bit lazy, maybe. <laughs> um, alloy wheel cleaner. This is actually half empty because I've used that much of it. Because um, I've, I've used it on the Panda about three or four times and maybe once on my girlfriend's new Fiat 500, which hopefully will be coming to the channel soon as well. Um, and we've got some tar and glue remover. So say you put a sticker on the car, you peel the sticker off, it leaves behind that sort of sticky residue and you can use this product to try and get that off. Um, what else have we got? Last but not least, we've got some aircon refresh. Now, I know for a fact the aircon in my Panda, which you've probably seen in a shop before, um, I'll put some B-roll over the top. If you're not familiar with the Panda, where have you been? But um, my aircon is really smelling. As soon as I turn the aircon on, you get that sort of really musty smell coming out of the fans and it, it's not nice. So maybe I'll give that a go on the Panda. Um, reserve the exclusive products for my own car. <laughs> but yeah. As you can see by my feet, plenty of products to try out, and I'm not gonna have chance in this video to try them all out. I think it's gonna be trial and error in the future, really, um, because this is probably my second or third car cleaning video. In 2021, I did a Paolo's beautification because it got very dirty throughout the winter of 21, and I spent an entire video cleaning it up, basically. Um, it did look good, actually. Um, it's just weird to think I'm driving that car now, really weird. But anyway, I'm rambling. So, let's cut to uh, pressure washing this car down and making it wet um, before cleaning it. So effectively, this is my version of the pre-wash. Pressure washing the excess dirt off before actually using the shampoo. It's actually just started raining. <laughs> pressure washing went well. Um, managed to pressure wash the whole car. Got a lot of the initial dirt off, let's call it. Um, now just waiting for the rain slash drizzle to stop. Um, and then it's shampoo time. And shampoo time. So I've just got a BQ bucket, the 99p one. Um, and a little bit of shampoo and wash wax stuff and I've actually used warm water. Sparky's getting a treat, and this will actually get a lot of the dirt off, so yeah, this will be good. Now sadly, during this clip, my Bluetooth microphone failed. So there is no audio for this section, but rest assured, nothing interesting. It's just me talking about how I fully well expect to have professional detailers in the comments telling me why I'm doing everything wrong. Um, but it doesn't matter because I said the EOP goes back in two years to the leasing company, so is it careless to say it's their problem? It probably is. Maybe it deserves more respect, but anyway. And now it's the drying stage. It is looking good though, already. Um, just getting that dirt off, because obviously a white car show up with dirt really, really easily. Um, so let's see what we can do. Well, it's looking good. It's looking really good actually. Um, so just dried it off um, and it's got that shine back. Um, it's not like a new car. Um, I don't think I've put enough effort in for that, but it is looking uh, a lot, lot better than it was before. So I call that a result. I think the biggest thing actually was, say you open the door, sort of in the sill area here, that always collects a lot of dirt and that was quite hard to clean. Um, but I somehow managed to do that. On camera, it actually looks really good in person, not so much. But I think this is the main focus, the interior. I'm not sure what that sign is, but uh, inside, it is an absolute state. Um, <laughs> it is very, very bad in here. And I'm basically exposing um, how my mum drives, basically. This is not a nice sight. Um, there's like crisps, there's like packets, there's 
there's all sorts in here um, and it's definitely not nice so I think we really really need to sort this out before we do that we'll do the wheels so what I'm using to clean the wheels is this the power max valeting alloy wheel cleaner and it says directions for use spray over dry wheel surface wait for two minutes um, and then agitate with a soft brush if necessary and then rinse off with water simple as there's no hard scrubbing away at the wheel or anything this should hopefully bleed the wheels effectively and separate the dirt from the metal so i'm not sure how much it's meant to spray sparingly or plenty of it but i tend to just do plenty of it leave it for two minutes and then simply rinse away that is definitely looking a lot better it's very shiny clean wheels now these are the 15 inch tezel alloy wheels with the uh, the world's skinniest eco tires um, it being electric it needs to have a very low drag i mean look at them look at them they are very very narrow indeed but yeah it is now time to sort out the interior of this very very mucky volkswagen e up first of all let's get a bag clear out all the rubbish and then let's get the trusty shark hoover and uh, see what we can do before moving on to the power max interior plastic cleaner just look at this come on that is no way to treat a car so as i said Got the mighty shark. See what we can do. Pretty manky down there. <laughs> it's the most satisfying job. I mean, just look down there, it's better already. Well, not perfect, but better. Driver's footwell is especially bad. And the mat as well. But passenger side is looking good. So, this product is brilliant. This is the uh, Power Maxed interior matte finish. Um, and basically we're looking on the back direction spray evenly onto the desired surface uh, leave to penetrate 30 seconds and then uh, buff off with a clean microfiber cloth and enjoy your new look matte finish so let's try it out on the EOPS door the driver's door card shall we um, because it's actually really cool so you just sort of spray it on reasonably sparingly but just kind of like covering where you want to clean really um, leave it for 30 seconds roughly and it kind of just like it's hard to describe this but it kind of just like bleeds the surface the, the, the what you sprayed on that the actual interior matte finish it turns brown and i'm not sure if that actually is dirt or it gives you the impression that it's separating dirt from the plastic but whatever it is it looks really cool so once you've waited 20 30 seconds you simply with a nice clean microfiber towel um you literally just buff it off like this and you will be left with um, a matte plastic finish because a lot of plastic cleaners they leave a really sort of unpleasant gloss and that's really what you don't want um, I won't mention any names but I've used products on plastics and it makes it really slippery and silicony and on interior plastics that's not really what you want that is a lot better it is not perfect at all the seats could definitely do with the vax but that's going to be a future job not for this evening um it's just got the usual stains really like mcdonald's milkshakes and stuff like that probably but it is looking a lot better and kind of presentable uh, it makes me quite sad that a car a 22 plate car is now looking like this but uh it is looking a lot better than it was one thing i struggled with actually was in the boots didn't film this actually but the entire of the boots was filled with straw and there's still straw in there but it was covered in straw it was actually a full-on layer of straw um how many times do i have to mention the word straw <laughs> it's basically because we got chickens and um we had a full-on hay bale or straw bale thing in the back for the chickens and the chickens in the back seat so it's kind of a farm vehicle as well um but yeah it is now looking a lot better so there we are then the beautification of sparky the volkswagen eop mk22 plu what a fantastic little car honestly this past year it's been an absolute treat and i'd say it's probably been the best family car we've ever had um i think we've agreed that as a family and it's also the smallest family car we've ever had which is quite ironic but there will be more videos to come in the future as i said following on from this there should be a full review of me actually driving it and talking about what it's been like to live with um which is very good there's a bit of a hint there for you um but we're really happy with it we're really really happy with it and credit to vw for making such a fantastic electric car small simple electric car um we really need more of them in the world um because they're all getting so big and so techy this is back to basics and it still has those creature comforts which is nice um 
I'm really impressed how it's looking, actually, as well. And that's all thanks to the car products I've been using. And if you want to check out the products I've been using, then do visit powermax.com um, for all your car valeting needs. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to the guys at uh, Automotive Brands for uh, sending me the Powermax products. Um, I'm not being paid to say any of this good stuff or anything. They purely just got in contact and said, let's send you some products, test them out, and see what you think. Um, and that's what I've done in this video. And I'm really happy with them, really, really am. Um, I've been using them on the Panda this past few weeks and it's always come out really, really nicely. You can see at the back of the shot there, gleaming kind of after, after traveling down to the Steelford events, which is the previous video, 500 miles. Um, but yeah, this is now looking equally nice um, and I'm really happy. So I need to look after it a bit more um, and I need to do more content on it, that's for sure. So yeah, if you want to see more Sparky content, more Paolo content, event vlogs and stuff like that, then do remember to subscribe and follow me on social media at DanielCarzo5 and I will see you very soon.